Germany decided this week to send 14 of its powerful Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine and allow allies to send theirs too. Berlin said the tanks should be delivered by the end of March. The West is now racing to get the equipment in place. If you look at ammunition, there is also the issue of quantity. As announced yesterday, I will also hold initial talks with the arms industry on this issue. Poland, Spain, Norway and Finland have all said they are willing to send Leopard tanks. Germany said Wednesday two battalions will be given to Ukraine, around 80 vehicles. In addition, Ukraine will receive 14 British Challenger II tanks and 31 American Abrams. Ukrainian troops will require several weeks of training on the different equipment. The Ukrainians have proved to be, I think, remarkably capable of absorbing Western military assistance. But it does take time, and time is not on their side. Given that spring is around the corner, there's an expectation that Russia is going to mount some form of major offensive. NATO described the decision to send tanks as a pivotal moment. What Vladimir Putin is hoping for and has been for the past few months is that in this kind of the threat of intimidation and then weariness in in the Europeans, uh, particularly uh, for the impact that sanctions is having on their own economies, that all those things will cause the transatlantic unity on this to break. But so far it hasn't. We've seen the opposite. Kiev says it needs 300 tanks and Western fighter jets to defeat the Russian invasion. Could that be the next barrier for the West to overcome? It would be another escalatory measure, but I think at the moment what they want to do is see how Ukraine get on with the tanks and then assess from there. The West is now heavily invested in the Ukraine war. Its flagship battle tanks, crewed by Ukrainians, will soon go head to head with Russian armour on the steppes of Europe. This could go on for a very long time. The Russians recognize this, and we we can tell from Putin's messaging to Russian society, he is preparing the country for a long long war. The question, I think, however, on the Western side is whether Western governments are prepared to do the same thing with their own societies. Western weapons could help Ukraine expel Russian forces. But the war won't be over anytime soon, and the resolve of governments and the public will be tested. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.